Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we will be reading five fantasy books in five days. <laughs> Going hysterical. Honestly, this book is making me hysterical. I previously did the 24 hour readathon and through that video, I realized that it is possible to read one book in a day. I want to further challenge myself and see if this is even possible to do. And also, I'll be traveling next week and I thought it'll be fun to hit a few of the books that I really want to read. I do have a list of books that I want to read in this video. I am cheating a little bit because I did include a novella that's like, I think 150 pages. This is a pile that I have right now. I have Sarah J. Mass's Crown of Midnight, uh, Mysteries of Dorm Manor by Margaret Rogerson, The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axie O, oh, and The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. I did pick mostly thinner books to read. I remember Queen of Nothing is only 300 pages and The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea is less than 350 and then Mystery of Thor Manor is I think less than 200 pages so I did pick easier books to read. I think it'll be easier to get through them. If I picked like a 500 page book obviously I wouldn't be able to finish it in one day. I don't care how long it's gonna take for me to read this. 550 plus pages. I don't think it finishes in two days. And I'll be reading Queen of Nothing first because this is the one book that I really, really need to finish. Uh, this is the last book in the Folk of the Air trilogy. The Wicked King was pretty difficult for me to finish because it was so packed with like politics and I'm hoping that I can get through this in one day. It is thinner than Wicked King, so maybe, maybe I can do it. As for the rest of the books, I will be seeing my mood and figuring out as we go. So that is the plan for today. Let us get into this reading vlog. I started The Queen of Nothing. I am now at page 28, chapter three. Being in Jude's mind once again, I just love it. I love the way she thinks, love the way she schemes and the way she gets out of situations. I love Jude, to be honest. I know not a lot of people like her, but she is a favorite character of mine because the way she thinks is so unique and her emotions are so unique. I'll be continuing my read. It is currently only one in the afternoon, so I do have a lot of time to finish this book. I'm hoping I can finish this book. I'm gonna quickly finish up my work this afternoon and once I'm done, I will get back to reading. It is currently 5.44 p.m. and I have read half of this book, The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. I am very proud of myself for reading half, which means I probably can finish the other half um, at night later because I am done with all my work. So far, the reading has been way faster than when I read The Wicked King, so I am really liking the pacing of this book. I think it's because The Wicked King kind of put everything into context, and now I just need to see this whole thing play out. I feel like Cardin has upped his game in this book. I really like his character here. The romance is growing. I can see the love Jude and Cardin have for each other, so I am enjoying The Queen of Nothing very, very much. I just want to know how it's going to end, which is probably why I'm flying through this book. I will get done with this tonight, and I will update you guys probably when it's done, because it's a very short book. Guys, page 200 of the Queen of Nothing is where you will find your enemies to lovers trope come to life. Page 200, okay? Is it even counted as YA? Like, I finished the Queen of Nothing. It is currently 11-ish p.m. It was a really, really enjoyable read. I loved it. I loved the scheming. The riddles in this book was so good and everything ended really well. I really liked Jude and Cardin. I loved Taryn. I loved every single character that appeared in this book regardless of their actions and what they did in the past. I'm gonna sit on my rating because right now my feeling is 4.5 but this can be five stars if I like sit on it and if I still keep thinking about it. 
because honestly i don't think i can get back from this this is such a good book and i feel like with the full of the air trilogy you need to be in a certain mood to be reading these books but i think when i read the wicked king which is the second book of this trilogy i wasn't in that mood and that really brought down my experience of reading that book i read that book in a 24 hour readathon so maybe it was because i just read so many books previous to that but yeah i'm going to sit on the rating and then i am going to grab a new book i'm going to be reading most likely the girl who fell beneath the sea by axio i am going to Think about it for like five minutes and then i'll pick the book i'm using my phone as a light fix and honestly making my face look so dead i apologize for this glare of light but i decided to get into the girl who fell beneath the sea because i want to get a head start i will be going out tomorrow in the middle of the day so i want to get a head start with this book i feel like this is going to be an easy and whimsical read instead of a heavy high stakes type of book I'm excited to get into this but i'm going to read a bit more and then i'm going to bed and i will see you guys in the morning the next morning and i am reading the girl who fell beneath the sea by axio this entire morning i have been really tired this is a guess but i think i might be getting my period soon which is why i'm feeling super exhausted and not in the mood to do anything except for lie in bed i read about like 40 pages yesterday night and then i continued on this morning when i woke up and i'm now at page 60 this is chapter six yeah chapter six what i really liked about this book is that it jumped right into the conflict it was very refreshing to see a story start out so quickly right in the face of the problem and hopefully i'll get through a lot of pages today because i am going out this evening and i don't know if i will be getting any reading done when i'm outside i'll try to bring my book and get some reading done but i cannot promise anything that is the plan for today and Hopefully I'll feel better after lunch, but right now, I'm not feeling so good. back and i have stopped at chapter 15 of the girl who fell beneath the sea i am not halfway there like almost halfway there but not yet it's currently 5 30 p.m after i came back i just got really really lethargic and my mood like dampened because i was very tired and my head kind of hurts the problem is that my reading experience with this book has soured a little bit because i did mention that i liked how this started but I don't feel much about the storyline as it continues on. I'm supposed to feel like this is slightly high stakes because the main female character, her name is Mina, she's supposed to be going through some sort of trial and she has like a time limit. After that period, she's going to lose her life, but I don't feel it at all. The writing just makes it feel like it's a very cozy type of fantasy book. And I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be cozy fantasy. It just became boring. I kind of don't want to continue reading this because I don't even want to know what's going to happen next. With a lot of fantasy books, I find that I read pretty quickly and I am usually very invested in the story because I most likely don't know what's going to happen with the plot. But with this one, even though I don't know what's going to happen with the plot, I don't really want to continue reading this at least right now i don't know if it's because of my mood i don't know if it's because of the book but for the meantime the last thing i want to do is read 
the girl who fell beneath the sea. I figured that I would go back to something that's more familiar and a book that I really, really enjoyed. So I'm going to start reading The Mysteries of Thorin Manor. This is the novella of Sorcery of Thorns. And if you guys know, I love Sorcery of Thorns. I read that five stars. It is probably my utmost regret that I did not annotate that book because I loved it so much. So I will be annotating this novella. We're gonna jump right into Mysteries of Thorin Manor and I am very, very pumped. Yes, I did finish Mysteries of Lauren Wiener yesterday night. I annotated quite a lot, I felt like, and I had so much fun annotating this. I even have post-it notes on some parts of the book, but this is definitely five stars all the way. Like, I didn't even have to think about it because I know that when Margaret Rogerson made this book, it was definitely a fan service to all the fans of Sorcerer of Thorns. There's nothing much in the plot. It's about the three characters that we loved in Sorcerer of Thorns. So I enjoyed this because of the characters and I really loved going back into this world. I also really liked the addition of the libraries and the grim wars in this book if you've read sorcery of thorns it focuses around like these great libraries and the grim wars that exist in those libraries i saw a glimpse of that in this book too so i'm happy that margaret rogerson also included that if you guys have not read sorcery of thorns then you need to read it i also will not be talking too much about this book because a lot of the parts in this book basically spoils the sorcery of thorns book so let me just say that I loved it so much and if I can, I would want to have my own Nathaniel Thorne. I think he is like the book boyfriend for me because his personality and his character, his dry humor and the way he talks to Elizabeth. Oh my gosh, I loved it so much. That's Mysteries of Thorne Manor. And then I read Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Mass. Once again, wanted something that I was familiar with and I just finished reading Sword of Glass last month so I jumped right into the second book. Right now I'm at page 24. I read 10 pages yesterday night and then I continued on this morning. I know for a fact that I cannot finish this book today. It's 400 pages and I've never finished a 400 page book in a day. I estimate by counting one page a minute. So if it's 400 pages, it's gonna take 400 minutes. And if you do the math, 400 divided by 60 is roughly in the middle of six to seven hours. Assuming I do finish this in seven hours, I don't have seven hours to spare to read this book. I'm gonna go and work now and then I will give you guys more updates when I'm actually reading this book. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah Can you tell me why, can you tell me why I'm down, yeah No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah Now I'm thinking I, now I'm thinking I Might have caught the June blues, yeah I wanna drown myself inside the juice, yeah I am reading Crown of Midnight. I am now at chapter 17, page 130. I also decided to annotate this book because 
I want to annotate the whole Throne of Glass series. I didn't annotate Throne of Glass because I didn't think I was going to like it that much, but I loved the series, so I decided I'm going to annotate the whole series. There's not much that I can, like, talk about because gonna spoil Throne of Glass, but I really want to talk about this book for a bit, so I'm going to put in a timestamp here. If you guys don't want to be spoiled with this series, I will put a timestamp. You can skip it to this time. If you want to be spoiled, then you're welcome. I do know that in the series, um, Selena ends up with someone else. She ends up with a guy called Rowan, and I also know that her name is not Selena, something like Aelin or something. She's a fae. I think uh, that's a spoiler I got, and so in this book, her love interest is different. It's not Rowan. I just don't know. I'm just having so much fun with this love interest, and I don't know how we're gonna transition to her being with Rowan. I feel like Sarah J Maas does such a good job at changing the male main character because that's what happened in Akatar and so I'm having a fantastic time. I'm gonna continue reading this so I'll update you guys once I get significantly into the book. I am at the halfway point for Crown of Midnight. I'm at page 208 chapter 26 so I have been reading this from just now and it is currently 9 p.m. So I have three hours before my usual bedtime, which is midnight, but I don't think I can like read straight for three hours. I don't know if I can finish this today. I'm definitely not going to finish this today, actually. Never mind. I'm never going to finish this today. But my goal is to get at least 100 pages in. I'm a little bit confused for what I'm going to read for my last fantasy book because I mentioned four books in the beginning of this video and now I don't have another fantasy book that I want to read. I am in a dilemma but I'm going to figure that out myself because you guys can't help me. I'm going to read Crown of Midnight. So far, plot, really liking it. I love the romance between Selena and the male main character in this book. I also really like all the side characters that appeared in this book. Even though I have gotten spoilers for the books after this, I haven't gotten like big plot spoilers so hopefully I don't get any of them and hopefully I will enjoy my reading experience with this book because so far at least I am liking it and I know a lot of people say that this book should not be a book on its own, it should be combined with Throne of Glass but I honestly I, I'm having fun, I like it so I can't complain. I'm going to continue reading this and then I will get back to you guys if I have any progress. I am reading Crown of Midnight. I reached a point at which it says part two, The Queen's Arrow. By the way, that is page 230. I just got the fright of my life. I'm having full body shivers right now. Whatever just happened, I feel like I'm in a fever dream. I'm going hysterical. Honestly, this book is making me hysterical. I did not expect that. I, I should have because Knowing Sarah J. Mass, I should have. I don't even know what's gonna happen at this point. morning i am now at page 328 of crown of midnight so i did reach my goal of reading 100 pages yesterday and then i read a bit more this morning i'm so close to the end i think i can power through the next hour and get this done because i want to go back to the girl who fell beneath the sea i want to give it another shot i'm going to read like 50 or so pages of that book and if i don't like it still then i will dnf that last book i'm going to read for this video i think is going to be air of fire which is the book after this one because i'm so into this world i am enjoying it so much i don't know why people say that it is a filler book because to be frank i am having a lot of fun and i really like everything that's coming out to light and i 
I'm enjoying all the characters. I'm almost like going to get into Air of Fire. I probably won't be able to finish it because it's a really thick book. It's thicker than this book. I think it's like 500 pages or so. I'm going to continue reading now and I will update you guys when I'm done with the book. I finished Crown of Midnight and it's only 1 p.m. So I'm very proud of myself, which means I can get into another book. But I did mention that I wanted to get into The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea because I stopped reading that in the middle. But if you guys read Crowd of Midnight, you'll know that I cannot stop here. I can't. So we're picking up Air Fire. I don't care how long it's going to take for me to read this. If I don't end up finishing it in this video, so be it. I did start my fantasy books. I didn't finish my fantasy books. And of course, we're annotating this as well. My annotations in front. And I'm excited to start with the first chapter, so... I actually love the series. I am flabbergasted. Because I love the series. updates throughout the day it is currently almost 9 p.m update on air fire i am only at page 120 i'm at chapter 16 i've been reading in and out i've been working and reading and working and reading and i got to 120 pages which i think is not bad to be honest at least in my opinion i thought crown of midnight was more exciting going into this book but I am still enjoying Era of Fire. We got introduced to a lot of new characters in this book. I don't even know which ones are the good ones, which ones are the bad ones. I don't know their role in this book. There's a lot of POVs in this book, I think, is my problem with getting into this book. I've mentioned a few times um, in my other videos that I never really liked reading books with a lot of point of views. When I went into Throne of Glass, I was well aware that there are a lot of point of views in this book so i just have to get used to it but that's my feeling on it so far i'm just hoping that all of these povs are gonna play a role somehow in the plot because i don't mind it as long as it's useful i'm also pretty excited rowan finally appeared and i most likely will be going to the bookstore soon to get the fourth book which is queen of shadows because I didn't buy the whole series, I was pretty scared that I wouldn't like the series. I'm gonna continue reading this and we'll catch up when I have updates. It's the next day and I am now at page 254 of Air Fire, chapter 30. I don't know if I can finish um, reading this today because I just got a big project that I have to finish before Monday next week. So. I will probably be very busy. I'm gonna try my best though because I'm very interested in finishing this. I'm very excited. The plot is going so well. Even the point of views I'm starting to get used to and I actually really like the POVs now. So I'm having a lot of fun with this book. I'm so excited that I want to head out to get Queen of Shadows, the next book after this one because I don't know if I am even capable of like not reading the book after this. I thought I would like Crown of Midnight more but honestly I think air of fire is so much more interesting but i really did like crown of midnight i think that book it showed depth in selena's character also in kale and dorian's characters and all of the side characters that appeared in that book i also enjoyed and that book made me feel so many emotions i just i just feel like it's gonna go up from here the other books of this series is gonna be so much more enjoyable from here and i'm so excited to be reading it so I'm gonna try my best to finish this. I cannot promise anything because I have work today. Hopefully I can. I still do have a lot of time. That's the plan. My battery's dying. I am going to update you guys when I have 
more progress into this book update i am now at page 300 something i have around 250 pages left to the end of this book and it's still gonna take me a while to finish this but i'm hoping i can finish this tonight i most likely will give my next update um when i'm done with this book i'm gonna see what happens i'm gonna see if that works mm, what else do i want to say yeah i have nothing else to say we'll update you guys most likely when i am done with this book see you guys tomorrow morning and i hope by the time i film tomorrow morning i will be done with this book Hi guys. i'm here to end this vlog slash video because I did finish Air of Fire this morning. So I pushed through yesterday night and I read a bit more this morning. I read like the last 150 pages this morning and I finished it. So I did end up finishing this book. Look at my annotations, they're so pretty. And I love this book with all my heart. I thought I wouldn't like it, but the latter half of this book was so good. All I want to do is just read the next book which is kind of shadows but i don't have the next book so i'm gonna have to go to the bookstore to actually get the next book but i freaking enjoyed this so so much just the character growth in this it was crazy and of course rowan rowan's appearance just like made this so much better y'all can guess i definitely did rate this five stars i'm gonna grab all the books that i read in this video these are the five books that i read in this video and i did soft dnf one i dnf'd the girl who fell beneath the sea but i did mention soft dnf because i am not going to like completely not read the book i'm just gonna read it in a later time when i am feeling for it right now honestly i do want to read and finish the North glass series but the other books in this video the queen of nothing by holly black mysteries of thorn manor by margaret rogerson crown of midnight by sarah j mass and air of fire by sarah j mass i decided to rate all of these books five stars that is so bizarre for me to say because i don't usually rate these many books five stars but if they're worth five stars obviously i'll give them five stars because all of them just deserve those five stars the queen of nothing gave such a good epic ending to the folk of the year trilogy mysteries of thorn manor was just the fan service i needed and the two books in this throne of glass series they just made this whole series amazing look at the annotations of the top three books like they're so pretty and i love them so much and i'm really happy i did this video because this video gave four five star books that's insane yeah i am going to end this video here thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye